Hey, what's going on friends? It's your boy Will here. And today I wanna to give you guys three reasons why you should be driving for Lyft in 2018. Now I wanna go ahead and start with the obvious. There are tons of competitors, but in the ride share game period, Lyft has the best bonus structure, period. And that's the power driver bonus. Now I've done a video on this in the past, but to basically give you a recap, all companies take a percentage away from us as drivers to use their platform. Now for Lyft, it can be 20, 25, or 30%, depending on when you got signed up. And what the power driver bonus is, is basically Lyft is saying, hey, we want you to meet these basic requirements. Not always easy, sometimes easy, depending on how you look at it, but we want you to meet these basic requirements, driver requirements, and what we'll do is we'll give you a cash bonus every week at the end of the week if you meet these requirements. Now, I live in the Atlanta, Georgia area, and for me, that's $240, $245, I'm sorry, dollars that I can earn extra per week. That's almost a $1,000 a month extra that I can make back uh, in, in bonus money, basically, that they're pretty much saying, hey, we're gonna give you this money back, just drive a certain amount, meet a certain amount of ride requirements. And that's pretty much one good reason to drive for Lyft in 2018, right? Like they're they're already saying, hey, you can make back almost $12,000 per year, guaranteed, like simple requirements. Meet the requirements, you get paid. We send that money to your bank account. So the power driver bonus is definitely one reason. Uh, the second reason, we're gonna start with something that's new that they just kind of started doing towards the end of 2017. Google actually just invested $1 billion into Lyft, if you didn't know, that was pretty big news. Not only did they invest that billion dollars, but it also shows that now Lyft has a backup source of income. So Google has tons of money that they can say, hey, if you guys need some more money, we can fund it to you. I haven't seen that written anywhere, but it's kind of obvious, I think. Um, and what they've been doing with that money is creating even more bonuses for drivers, even more bonuses. And now this is called the streak bonus, something new that they've been doing. And basically what the streak bonus is, is the streak bonus is actually Lyft saying, hey, they send out text messages and they say, hey, we want you to complete a certain amount of rides in a row. It might be three rides in a row, it might be five rides in a row, it might be six rides in a row, and we're gonna give you an extra amount of money, $12, $15, $20 to complete these rides in a row. And they might say, we want you to start the beginning of your streak from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. So that's when you have to actually accept your first ride. Once you accept that first ride, you actually have to complete however many rides in a row. Let's just say five. You have to complete five rides in a row. They send you that bonus money. That's great, right? Like you can make extra bonus money for completing rides in a row. And the great thing about this street bonus is it's actually allowing Lyft to dominate the competition because for someone like me who drives for both Lyft and Uber, they're basically saying, hey dude, we don't want you to cut our app off. So normally what I would do is I would cut my Lyft app on and my Uber app on. And after dropping off a Lyft passenger, I would cut back on my Uber app as well. That way I would have a better chance of uh, minimizing my downtime and just making more money all together. But if I want to get that bonus, I can't cut my Uber app back on because if I get an Uber ride, then I have to cut my Lyft app off. And basically I miss out on the bonus and I don't want to do that. So that's, that's a very competitive uh, strategy that they're using to basically make people like me keep my Uber app off during a certain time, which 6 a.m. to 7 a.m., that's rush hour. Sometimes they send out these street bonuses twice a day. Um, and they are, they're doing it almost during rush hour. So now passengers who are used to using Uber might have longer wait times. And if they have both apps downloaded on their phone, Lyft and Uber, the possibility of them saying, oh, it's gonna take 10 minutes for an Uber driver to get here. Let me check Lyft. Oh, you know what? There seems to be more Lyft drivers in the area because, well, more Lyft drivers are trying to get that streak bonus, they might just go ahead and go with Lyft that time because obviously it's rush hour, they're probably trying to get to work, so they're on a time crunch. They don't have time to wait. Even if Lyft is charging a little bit more, a dollar, two dollars more for the ride, they're probably gonna go with Lyft, which helps Lyft dominate, which gets passengers used to using the Lyft app and cutting on the Lyft app more frequently, that's gonna be their go-to app. And in the end, as a Lyft driver, that's only gonna mean more money for us 
if this strategy proves positive for lift. So that's a good thing. Obviously the street bonus is better for us. I kind of went a little bit about it, but the third thing that I would say, the third reason that I would give you the drop for lift in 2018 is overall lift just pays more. When you look at the numbers, lift pays more per mile and for your time as a driver. So why wouldn't you want to drive for them? Not only do they do that, but both Lyft and Uber offer cheaper services for passengers. And it's called Lyft Line for Lyft and Uber Pool for Uber. And what this service is, is basically a passenger can get a cheaper ride by opting to share their ride with another passenger who might be headed in the same direction. Now it does take a little bit more time for the passenger to get where they're going, but they save money in the end. Now with Uber Pool, as a driver, we actually make less money. We actually make less money per mile and for our time. But with Lyft Line, Lyft has said, you know what? We're not gonna pay you drivers less because we're a driver friendly and focused company. So with Lyft Line, you actually make the same amount that you would for a regular Lyft Line. And that's just another example of Lyft paying more to the drivers. Overall, Lyft is just a better company. When I look at my pay stub, I feel comfortable. When I look at my Uber stub, I don't really even know how much money they're taking out of my check. Sometimes it looks like they're taking 25%. Sometimes it looks like they're taking 60%. I don't know, right? Like it's not clear. It's just not clearly written out. The 180 days of change for Uber is a 180 days of BS because I haven't really seen anything profitable for me personally in it, no matter what anybody tries to tell me. It, it's just not, it's not feasible, not compared to Lyft. Um, so that would be the go-to company for 2018. And that's why you should be driving for Lyft in 2018. Because overall, if you're gonna be a driver doing the ride share game, it's just gonna be the better company overall. Um, so yeah, look, for my video, Lyft versus Uber, I'll be doing that soon. Um, and that's pretty much all I got. Until next time, peace.